Good evening. My name is Matt Maxwell, and I'm here this evening to help you to understand a very important philosophical truth. Yes, I remember freshman year, spending countless hours trying to understand Plato and Aristotle, but sadly, I didn't understand anything. But now, it is all perfectly clear to me, especially the truth that I grappled with the most of abstracting the universal. And that is why I have brought a very special guest tonight, all the way from New York, to help illustrate how difficult it is to apprehend this philosophical truth. Please help me welcome Elmo. Good evening, Elmo. Thank you very much for being here tonight with us. How you doing? Great, so how was your flight over tonight? I was fine as good, and his arms are very tired. Oh, that's funny. So, are you ready tonight? <laughs> are you ready tonight to help these young people out there apprehend this great philosophical truth of, a of abstracting the universal? Yeah, and I'd love to do that. Fantastic. Do you yourself understand what abstracting the universal is? Um, maybe. Well, that's... Great, but let's start with something simple, like the objects I have in front of me here. Here we have an orange, uh -huh. an apple, yeah. shoe polish, uh, and a, hip -hop. a compact disc, mm -hmm. a soccer ball, yeah. and last but not least, a frisbee. Yay! Okay, Emil, so let's start with all of these objects and see what's common to them. Do you uh -huh. see anything that's common to all of these objects? Um, oh, M&M's! What? What? what is it? Tell me. They all have material principles! Yes, that's true, Alma, but we're looking for something a lot simpler than that. Clear Here, let me help you out here. Just take these two for example. Uh -huh. What's common between the apple and the orange? Yes, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for something. No, we're looking for something that's very obvious. Okay, let's try these two. What's common between the shoe polish and the compact disc, Elmo? Uh, oh, Elmo can see his face in both of them. They're both shiny. No, no, Elmo. That's not what we're looking for in these objects. It should be very obvious. Let's try these last two. It's pretty clear what is common between these two objects, Elmo. What is it? Yeah, they're both white! No, Elmo, that's not what we're looking for. Just look at all these things. What is common to all of them? You're making Elmo feel stupid. Maybe because Elmo is stupid. And Elmo's mad at you! Mad, mad, mad! Throwing a temper tantrum is not going to help anything right now, Elmo. Please, stop it. No, Elmo. Let's see if this video will make it clear to you what abstracting the universal is. Oh, TV! Elmo loves TV! Now we're going to be understanding near and far from this video, Elmo. Okay! See, look. Now he's near. And now he's far. Oh. Near. Far. Do you understand? Uh, no. Well, what is this? Uh, Elmo doesn't know. Well, how about now? Do you remember that one? Elmo doesn't know. All right, let's try this again. So he's near, but now he's far. You see? So what is he now? Uh, far? No, 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 Elmo. Try it, try this one. What is he now? Near! No, no, that's, that's not right. Uh, so, now, what is he? Remember, think about what I was saying. Near? Yes, he's near. Yay! So now he is? Uh, far! Yes, very good. So now we understand near and far. Congratulations, Elmo. Yay! So now, Elmo, from that video, what would you say the definition of near is? Uh, uh, near is the privation of farthest. Well, 
That's good. So then what would be the definition of far? Not quite, but thanks for coming and trying to help us this evening to understand abstracting the universe. Oh yeah, I'm just glad to help! Thank you, you have a good night, Elmo. Oh, Take care. Thank you. All right, thank goodbye you. now. Bye. You're welcome. Bye, everybody! Okay, goodbye. I'm gonna you Bye, Elmo. Bye! Goodbye, Elmo. Bye! Okay. That was quite a take, huh? I don't know how you do that. How do you keep up that own voice for the whole time? I don't think I could do that. Uh, I'm glad that's over. Well, good job. Yeah, thanks. Today's show has been brought to you by the letter A. I is in Aristotle. Yes, Elmo, as in Aristotle and Augustine and Aquinas. And today's show has been brought to you also by the number one. Sorry, Elmo, you're right. Well, which one would you like, Elmo? Uh, I want to write all of them! I can't write all the numbers, Elmo. What? Elmo knows? Species Legista! Yay! Okay, Elmo. Okay. 